Today, the candidates for the 6th Congressional District are talking about the economy. It's our Commitment 2014 in their own words. I own a small business. I see it every day. I fly to bed and wake you know, a lot of times looking at the ceiling saying, how am I going to pay the bills? How am I going to keep the doors uh, to my business open? I understand the anxiety that small businesses face. Not big businesses, but small businesses. Um, I visit a lot of small businesses on a day-to-day -day basis, and they'll tell me that, you know, I always say, you're going to hire more people, and they're like, no, we're, you know, we're, we're, they're waiting for the next bad thing to happen. So we have to improve the business climate, and the way to do that is through tax policy, that helps small businesses. I support a credit for small businesses who hire people. Um, less regulations. The Congress should be voting on any regulation that costs the economy more than $100 million. And finally, bad laws that are being passed on a day-to-day -day basis um, that are impacting uh, the competitiveness of particularly small companies. I've been endorsed by the National Federation of Independent Businesses and the Chamber of Commerce. I've owned my own business for the last 14 years. I understand uh, what small businesses are thinking. And um, I can be a good advocate and a very strong advocate for job creation in small businesses in Washington, D.C. We need to grow jobs, and unemployment is higher in the 6th District than it is in the rest of the state. So we have a lot of work to do. I have a three-point jobs program. The first is reform the tax code to help small businesses. Right now, some of the biggest corporations in America pay the lowest taxes, and small business owners in places like Lynn and Salem and Peabody are struggling because they ha pay higher effective tax rates than some of the chains and conglomerates they compete with. The second thing is we need job training, not just because it helps today's workers, but because it helps new attract new businesses to the district. And the third thing is we need to develop infrastructure. Let's finally extend the blue line to Lynn. I managed a high-speed rail project. I have the experience of working between the public sector and the private sector to get things done. I'd like to see an economic revitalization of Lynn. We ought to do for what for Lynn what Paul Songus did for Lowell. But up in Gloucester, it's a different picture, and we need to help the fishermen get back to fish. Regulatory reform is needed to ensure a stable, uh, sustainable fisheries, both to meet the environmentalist goals and the fishermen's goals. We can do that.